for the minimap. We will use this method. All credits goes to him by the way. This is the best method of creating a minimap, and it doesn't involve any bad practices. I'll link everything mentioned here in the description. So as you can see here, it doesn't take really long to render. Anyways, first step is downloading Python. I'm not going to include this here, because it's nothing hard, you just set it up like any other application, but don't forget to check this checkbox in setup, or it won't work. And after you install Python, open up command line, by searching cmd and type these. If it errors, you'll need to install some things. Just follow the steps in article and download build tools for Visual Studio 2017. And when you are installing, select Visual C++ build tools and click install. I didn't need to install, but I have some C++ tools installed so, you might need to install. Now, I'll add the scripts and remote events. I'll link this model in the description. Once you drag that in from your toolbox, it'll look like this. Now, place master script in server scripts service, client in starter player scripts and these two remote events to replicated storage. Go to python server script, and delete the comments. These comments are from Lua, and won't work well with python. There's also one here. Now copy the script without gray lines. You can delete the python server script after it. We will move to server later. In client script, we have this start variable. This will be the furthest negative coordinations in your map. If you don't know how map coordinates work, it works like this. If you generate a 512 studs map, the two furthest points will be 256 and negative 256. I don't know how big this map is, so I just spawned a part and dragged it to the furthest point of my map. You can get more accurate results by making the part smaller and moving it a bit outside of the map, but I probably rounded the number when generating, so I'll just copy this. Paste your copied part position here. It's near to 5120, so I'll round to that. This Y value will need to be a little higher than the highest part of your world. You can use the same method, drag the part to the highest place, press F key to move the camera to the part and align it. Then copy the Y position. Paste it to start's Y position. I also rounded the Y position to 200. We also need to change rail length to our start variable's Y position, but it's negative form. There is a get color from material function and you can customize it. Water doesn't have color for default, but you can add it a color. I haven't tried it out, but you can if you want. In line 68, there is a ray variable, and then a vector at the end. Change the Y position to starts Y position but negative. That's it for client script. There are some options like super sampling, but I don't think anyone will need it, so I won't include it. It's time for the Python script. You don't need to use Visual Studio code. You can just paste it to a text document and save it with .py extension. There isn't so much to do here, but if you want to change resolution, you'll need to change some things here. Width and height have to match with Roblox Studio scripts. Default is 8192 for each. Lines per assign has to match too. I don't think you'll ever need it, but if you do, you can read more about it from his article. There is something you need to do. There are two paths in the script. One of them is for saving, and one of them is for opening. Change this to your user. After you are done, save the script. Don't forget the .py extension, or it won't work. I just realized that I have a footage for it. You do it like this. There is one more thing before it's ready and that is the server IP. This needs to be your local IP, not your public IP. You can get this with opening up command line by typing cmd to the windows search bar and then type IP config. There will be some adapters, if you are connecting with cable, you need a Thernet adapter, and if you are connecting without a wire, you'll need wireless adapter. It'll look like this, but yours will be different. Your local IP isn't private, but your public IP is. Don't share your public IP with anyone. Back to script, replace this address with your local IP. It will look like this. Now, we have to set scale option. If you set this scale wrong, your map will look wrong. With this formula, you can calculate your scale. 
You may think that, if you type something like 0.5, it will show more parts, but it doesn't work like that. So you have to use the right value. Scripts are finished now. We can generate the image. Run your Python script. When your game runs, it will start receiving requests. Your PC might lag a lot while this runs. Go to test tab and select player count depending on your CPU core count. Not threads, core. My CPU has 8 cores, but I'm also recording, so I will select 7. I will link an article for checking CPU core count in the description, just in case, if you don't know. I will fast forward this part, because it's only loading clients. You can see, that it's sending lines. If it shows an error, you did something wrong. I had errors at the beginning and this was hard to understand at first, because article missed a lot of points. If your python server and output looks like these, you are fine to go. Wait for it to finish. Here is the image I got. It's very detailed, and will give better results, if you use this on a smaller map. I'm zooming in, and you can see the farmhouse and trees. I recognize that it doesn't copy textures. I have two more things, to say before I finish the video. It will be on your desktop once it finishes rendering. It won't have a file extension at the end, you have to edit its name, and put an image file extension. Its original extension is BMP, which is bitmap. File size will be huge with bitmap. You probably can't import to Roblox like that, so you might need to compress it, or just save it with a smaller resolution which will also be fine. With default settings, water will be black. You can change it with the function, get color from material. You can also edit the photo with an editing application. If you have any questions, you can ask them in comments and I will answer them. That was it for this video. Hope you understood, see you in another one.